A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 to 28. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Jesus now, well on the way up to Jerusalem, took the twelve off to the side of the road and said, Listen to me carefully. We are on our way up to Jerusalem. When we get there, the Son of Man will be betrayed to the religious leaders and scholars. They will sentence him to death. They will then hand him over to the Romans for mockery and torture and crucifixion. On the third day, he will be raised up alive. It was about that time that the mother of Zebedee brothers came with her two sons and now before Jesus with a request. What do you want? Jesus asked. She said, Give your word that these two sons of mine will be awarded the highest places of the honor in your kingdom, one at your right hand, one at your left hand. Jesus responded, You have no idea what you are asking. And he said to James and John, Are you capable of drinking the cup that I am about to drink? They said, Sure, why not? Jesus said, Come to think of it, you are going to drink my cup, but as to awarding places of honor, that's not my business. My father is taking care of that. When the ten others heard about this, they lost their tempers, thrillingly disgusted with the two brothers. So Jesus got them together to settle things down. He said, You have observed how godless rulers throw their weights around, how quickly a little power goes to their hands. It's not going to be that way with you. Whoever wants to be great must become a servant. Whoever wants to be first among you must be your slave. That is what the Son of Man has done. He came to serve, not be served, and then to give away his life in exchange for the many who are held hostage. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 to 28. Give away what you have earned. Jesus and the disciples are going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus wants to prepare them for what lies ahead. There are a few points that would puzzle us about today's gospel. Jesus explicitly predicts that crucifixion awaits him in Jerusalem. It is a profound teaching about suffering. When we try to avoid suffering at all costs, we will spend a lifetime running, but it will catch up with us anyway. Then we will be unwilling victims of suffering. But when we choose to face the sufferings of our lives head on, sustained by the example and the grace of Christ, we become heroes of faith. The desire of James and John to have important positions ahead of the rest of the ten apostles raised a potential threat of division among them. Jesus grabs the opportunity to give a powerful teaching on humility. If you want to be great, change your attitude. Quit thinking about your social status, intelligence, academic degrees, and ability to manipulate and control outcomes. It doesn't matter how long you have been a member of the church or even how much better you could lead than the men in current leadership. 
those things are all worth nothing without love and a heart to serve if it is truly our desire to be great in god's eyes we must recognize our inability to merit greatness bow in gratitude for god's graciousness and by way of thanksgiving use our life to reflect god's total gift of self on the cross consider giving away something you have earned as part of your lenten practice